All right, friends. So we still have our personal narrative papers mm -hmm. on our desks. And what I need you to do is get your writing notebook. Right now, go ahead and get your writing notebook. And then I'll explain where this is going to go in our notebook. Okay, so you have your writing notebook. I gave the one that I made to Mr. Noah, so I'm going to have to start over with a new one. But what you're going to do is the solid black line around the outer edge of that paper that we were writing on before PE. You're going to cut around that solid black line. Sure, scraps get thrown in the trash and not on the floor. should have your examples down in here. Mine are still written on the board. I'll have to get them written on my paper. I'm going to use your notebook since it's ready and mine's not ready yet. Your first tab says resources. So that page that has resources glued to it, go to the back of that same page. Okay, so you're on the back of your resources page. You're going to glue what is a personal narrative on that back side of that page. So it says resources on the front side of it. What is a personal narrative goes on the back. Okay? So get that glued in there. No, it can just 
we don't have to worry about it since there's not a tab that needs to stick out on it. So can you maybe just go in the middle of the paper? Sure. There's no right or wrong way to put whatever it is. Once you have that glued in there, make sure that there's no glue off to the side. If you've got a little glue off to the side, just leave it opened up for now. Push that on there so that it sticks to that paper though well. Now, if you think of other ideas for a personal narrative, could you add it to this page? Yeah. Yes. All righty. So for the next several weeks, we're going to be working on personal narratives. Okay, we're going to be writing stories about those personal experiences that you and I have had. Um, I'm gonna start off this unit by reading an example of a personal narrative. It's not anything that's happened to any of you. It's not something that happened to me, but maybe there's parts of it that we can relate to, okay? Um, so this one is titled, Unexpected Guests. Wake up, sweetheart, wake up. I heard a voice whispering as my arm was being gently nudged. I rubbed my eyes and squinted to help my eyes adjust. I could see my mom leaning over me in her pajamas. Mom, what is it? I whispered back. Shh, follow me and come see, mom answered. I watched mom swiftly walk through the cabin hallway and into the living room where the moon lit up the entire room. The wooden floor of the cabin was cold under my feet. Mom led the way to the big window where the moon was shining through and she knelt down on the couch. I slowly knelt down on the couch next to her and we leaned over the top as we looked out the window together. Do you see them? Isn't it wonder, isn't it something? She asked with amazement in her voice. My eyes searched through the darkness, through the giant pine trees and up the hillside out the window. It was very dark, but the stars glittered in the sky and the moon was nice and full. Suddenly, there they were. It was breathtaking, a whole herd of elk was traveling up the hillside. Some were stopped, grazing on grass and carefully searching for danger around them. Some smoothly led the way up the hill as the others trailed behind them. Their eyes reflected the light of the moon as they cautiously scanned the forest. There were so many of them, 10, maybe 15. They seemed much larger in person than I'd seen in magazines. My mom and I sat as frozen as statues as we observed their every move. Finally, the last one made its way up the grassy hill and disappeared through the trees. My heart sank a bit and I felt sad to see them go. I glanced up at mom, still in awe. She grinned at me and I laid my head on her shoulder. She put her arms around me and squeezed as I closed my eyes and smiled. I will never forget that night that I heard her soft whisper, wake up, sweetheart, wake up. All right, so who is this author writing about? The girl. Okay, so herself or himself, how many were thinking it was probably a girl? How many were thinking it was a boy? 
because it didn't really tell us, did it? All right. Um, so it was a true story about something that happened to her. We'll assume it's a girl, okay? So we've already talked about this a little bit. Is a personal narrative a fictional story or a non-fiction story? Fiction or non-fiction? What are you thinking, Connor? Non-fiction. Because it's something that has truly happened to you or me or in this case, this girl. So now look back at your personal narrative anchor chart that we just put behind our resources. It's our very first resource in our writing notebook. Is there anything else, an experience that you've had personally that you want to add to your chart? If there is, I'm going to give you 90 seconds to jot as much of it down as you can. you have your ideas, your examples of a personal narrative jotted down, close your notebook for me, then I'll know you're ready to move on.